Welcome to STEAM Candy Art Challenge. Today's challenge is for first through fifth graders. Hello out there. This is Elaine with the Calcasieu Parish Public Library. I'm here to do a STEAM project with grades one through five. I think you'll enjoy it. We'll be using only candy and water. One of the things you're going to be seeing is if the colors mix once I pour the water in and do the colors run together. So at the end of the experiment, you should be able to answer those two questions. The first thing we're going to do is I'm going to make my design by using my candy. Today we're using yellow, blue, and red candy. At the beginning of our film, I have a couple of other pictures you can also do. One is of Northern Lights. One is of a little fairy village or house. This one is going to be a smiley face. So you put all your stuff. It helps if you have a white background so that when you do see it, it shows up much better. So I've got my yellow. You make a circle with your yellow. Takes a little bit of a time to do it because they like to roll around. We will show you a close up of exactly what it looks like once we have it or Miss Elaine has it together. Now I'm doing the blue, those are the eyes. And the red is, of course, your lips, our smile. Now I've got my shape. And then I'm going to pour and add the water. All right, here we go. This is my design. Our smiley face, I've got yellow candy, red candy for the mouth, and blue candy for the eyes. The next thing we're going to do is I'm going to pour some water, but before we do that, we're going to talk about the reaction that we're going to get, and that's called water stratification. Yeah, it's a big word. Each color of candy has slightly different chemical makeup, which when dissolved, creates a water solution that has slightly different properties such as Density. Density is the measure of how much mass is present in a certain volume of a substance. The next is salinity, which is talking about the salt content in your water. And finally, the last word is oxygenation, which is the addition of oxygen to any system. Something that sustains or fuels what we're doing. This creates a barrier that pre prevents the water from mixing, which you'll see when I pour the water on. This is why salt water and fresh water don't mix. It takes a few minutes for it to start dissolving, but watch what happens. And two of the questions I have for you today, again, is will the colors run together? And do you think the candy will dissolve? <gasps> it's already reacting with the water. Do you see it? Are my colors mixing yet? Or is it just feeding out into the water? This is called concentration gradient. Simply put, this is the process where molecules will move from one high concentration to lower concentration areas. 
Okay, answer my first question. Do the colors mix? I don't think so, no. Is the candy dissolving? It might be losing a little of its colors because the water is making the colors dissolve into the water. So I hope you enjoyed this experiment of candy and water today. We'll see you in a few weeks. You have a good time.